Okay, Dave here with Saddleback Leather, and I want to show you the briefcases that you're wondering about. Here's the new bag, and I'm calling it the Barrister's Briefcase, and you'll understand why in a minute, okay? This is the Barrister's Briefcase. If you don't know what a Barrister is, look it up. This is the, the uh, classic briefcase. This is, uh, this is the front pocket briefcase. This is a big one. Uh, which one should they get? This is the flight bag. Uh, so people are calling this the large flight bag. Uh, can you see why? I don't know why they would do that, but here are the, here's the bag uh, side by side here. Let me walk through first, walk through the dimensions here. So this bag is, the back is always a good spot for the dimensions. The, this bag, 15 and a half inches wide by about five inches deep, okay? Five inches deep, it's just one big hollow spot. It's got a spot laptop in there. That's the flight bag. The, this one is, the, the front pocket is 17, it was, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is the classic. It is 16 inches wide here. And then it has two four and a half inch wide, um, sides two two this is a gusset here has two gussets all the way around uh, this is my bag my classic I travel with everywhere and this one has you can see here the difference this has been used and it's kind of filled out this one's kind of tighter so this is about what you get about nine inches all in total uh, two sides no pockets on the inside and then you have this one is the front pocket briefcase and it is 17 inches wide it is seven inches and it's a uh, it's three inches and three and a half and three and a half inches uh, so that's the difference here with this one and then you have briefcase this is so cool seriously this is super cool so this one is also seven inches wide from here to here uh, this is kind of wide open on the inside but there are some dividers I'll show you in a second this is eight inches from here to here and I'll show you why I did that so front side get pockets behind the pockets for just sticking stuff airline tickets and speeding tickets and stuff like that. Then you have, you have two full pockets. Uh, this has back pocket here, uh, just like all of them have uh, for stuffing newspapers or tickets or whatever. And then you have, this is the cool part. I love this, it's just fun. Stays. So you would tuck that down if you left it open uh, next to you on the on the on the bench there or on the, on the bench on the in court or in your airplane or wherever you wanted to keep it open let me explain this. so you have a spot for a laptop here notepad holder here leather portfolio or either one holds all laptops uh, a 19 inch might struggle if you had a 19 inch but uh, yeah there are other struggles involved with that too then you have three pockets that are about four inches deep, go right to about here on my hand, uh, just for keeping stuff. I, I like to keep things real basic. So if you wanted a real minimal, I don't like to have flaps over things and zippers and buttons. Of course, we don't have any breakable parts. So uh, then if you, let's say we're going to court and you said, uh, need to get ready for court. Uh, hear ye, hear ye. And then you would have your, uh, be ready for court if you're a barrister. So here we go. Uh, this side is about four inches. And so is this. And these push out of the way. You can get even more in there. But uh, a lawyer told me, he said, one of the biggest things he's, uh, he does is he has a, he brings a four wide or deep uh, binder full of paperwork and stuff. He likes to, he's kind of old school, likes to keep it all in front of him. And so, so nothing freezes up. He has it right there. He said, I need a spot for a, a four inch binder. 
So that's here, all kinds of space here for your stuff. Take it with you, here you go, close it up. In fact, you don't even need to close it up, but you can if you want, and then here you go. Uh, you got the D-rings for tying stuff on if you had to. You got the side, comes with a shoulder strap. This thing's hot, how do you guys do that? You know they sell those things like for like $1,300 and they have like wooden stands and stuff. It's I guess it, you have to have it in court in a British system. It's kind of interesting. Um, anyway, shoulder strap. Um, one of the only things that could happen would be your shoulder strap would come under here and come up and then pull it. So then you would, you know, do that. That's the only drawback I've heard from this thing. It is a cool bag. It's a little heavy. Not for the faint of heart. It is... A uh, cool bag. This is the Barrister's briefcase. Hope you like it.